Yeah, uh, down in Iowa City last weekend uh, for the Hawkeye Invitational. Uh, it, was, it was a solid opener uh, for us. We have uh, a lot of young uh, student athletes in, in our program. And so on the way back from the, the trip, uh, I was just kind of looking at our travel roster and, and noticed uh, we had 35 out of 77 uh, athletes competing were freshmen. And so that's 45% of our entire uh, travel roster. And so we got a young team. And so it was exciting for me as a, as a coach to see them putting on the, the Panther purple and gold for the first time, uh, getting a feel for how they, they approach the meet, their mentality. Uh, just figuring out how they how they respond in, in a competitive situation, and so uh, we had a lot of really good performances to build on, and just looking forward to uh, getting back to work today. And uh, we had a good practice yesterday, and so just getting forward uh, to, to heading back down to Iowa City again, and and competing against um, Iowa, Iowa State, and Florida State. I will be here, and so a four teams uh, scored meet. Love these kind of opportunities because it's more of a conference meet uh, type of a feel. Uh, competing for places and points and so it should be should be really fun uh, on the men's side we had a, a few people that, that did terrific uh, Brad Walski uh, had a PR in the shot put won that event uh, puts him number nine all time in school history number two in the valley uh, he also had a great weight throw as well sits top two in the weight throw in the conference uh, we had a couple of hurdlers uh, Cole Phillips and Connor Ham both are in 8.12 puts some top 10 in school history uh, which is a tough list to make we've had a lot of uh, good hurdlers throughout the years here and our top five in the Missouri Valley Conference uh, C.J. May, a freshman from Appleton Parkersburg, uh, ran a terrific mile for us his first time out on a Panther uniform, uh, ranks number four in the Valley right now. And Brandon Carnes had a, had a good opener in the 200, and so he'll open up in the 60 of the 200 again this weekend, and so uh, he's looking strong as well. Uh, on the women's side, Sarah Pate, uh, terrific in the weight throw, number two in the Valley, number five all time in school history. Freshman Jasmine Blue from Cedar Rapids Jefferson. Uh, ran a really good 60 meter dash for us. She's number six all time in school history and is right on the door uh, doorstep of scoring at the conference meets uh, in the standings so far. Lindsay Schinkel is number uh, two in the Valley right now. She's a sophomore from Ankeny. And so you can just see we've had a lot of good, uh, a lot of good performances uh, to, to build on. Uh, we had six event champions and six top 10 performances in school history. And so anytime you can start uh, a season with those kind of marks, uh, gets you excited for what's to come. And so we just got to get focused on the process and uh, keep keep rolling. So uh, we have to be at our best uh, end of February when the conference meet is in the dome, and uh, we're looking to try to, to to be that. So any questions regarding track? All right, go Panthers. <laughs>